Inkbird pull sensor used in my lake to track the temperature. We're going to unbox it here and set it up in the lake and see how she does. Okay, okay we have the Inkbird pool thermometer. We're going to unbox this and set it up. Hard manual. Float temperature sensor. Receiver. Battery compartment. Make sure we're unwound. Wind it back up. Got a display. Displaying 23.7, 23.7. All right. So let's change that to Fahrenheit. All right, so we're 74.6 degrees. Okay, we're ready to go. So now we have this sensor. It's interesting. It's got a little metal direct contact, which uh, should read faster than the last temperature sensor we used. Seems like it's well made and solid. Um, I'm a little worried about the gasket here there's not really a gasket it's kind of just plastic so i don't know how it's going to hold up in the lake but we will try it and then we'll uh, set it up so we can receive the signal and uh, track it and log it on our linux box so here we are at the lake um, we're going to mount the temperature sensor underneath the float dock if we don't kind of protect it the fishermen will get it all wound up on their line and they'll steal the temperature sensor or they'll destroy it or whatever. So what we'll do is we'll get a string and hang it so it floats underneath the float dock there. Okay, here we are. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop a string through there, pull it out here, tie up the sen temperature sensor, and then tie it off here so it's, uh, protected underneath here so the fishermen don't get it. Take out the string. I'm going to tie the string to this little uh, hole right here and let's drop it in. Okay there you go. Tied up. I used a top line hitch with a couple extra half hitches on it. Um, it seems to be pretty durable for something like this. Let's drop it in. See how fast it reacts to the lake temperature. It says 77.1. I don't know if it actually changed much here. I don't know if the lake's white. Not warm, it could be. It's pretty warm right now. It's been... Uh, over a hundred for the last week. Okay. It says the um, lake is 79.7 degrees. And it's 77 outdoors. It's early in the morning, so it's going to get warm. 
and we're out there. So that's the only thing we need to do now is verify that that temperature is correct with another means. I think it's probably pretty close, 80 degree water um, in July here. Okay, so we're at 79.8 on the lake temperature. So what we're gonna do is get this old hot tub thermometer and we're gonna dip it in here and see how accurate this temperature gauge is. Okay, I've held this in the water for a couple minutes. Let's pull it out and see what the temperature says. And it looks like it's right about 80 degrees, maybe a little less. And that jives with a little less than 80 degrees. So I would say this is reasonably accurate. So the Inkbird temperature gauge does seem reasonably accurate. Previously, I had hooked up this temperature gauge right here. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't have humidity. And, um, but yeah, it works. Uh, it's over the lake, so, uh, and it's got a lot of airflow. So it seems to be pretty accurate. Okay, here we go. So the temperature is 103 degrees outside right now, and we're clocking 84 degrees in the lake. I hope you like this. Um, tune in next time, and we'll actually receive both of these sen temperature sensors, the lake sensor and the air sensor, with our RTL 433 receiver.